Hello everyone. Hope you all are doing good today. Thanks for watching this video. Today in this video, I'm going to discuss and demonstrate about how you can configure Microsoft Defender Application Guard on a Windows 10 client using Microsoft Endpoint Manager. Before proceeding further, let's discuss why do we need Microsoft Defender Application Guard. You can encounter a cyber attack while surfing website or as you really don't know if the site you have you are accessing have any malicious code in it and once that code get executed that code might be installing some kind of malware backdoors or giving elevated access to the attacker on the system sometimes it is really very tricky to detect and even mitigate these kind of threats microsoft defender application guard help you to prevent these kind of uh, cyber attacks on the windows and desktop Let's see uh, how Microsoft Defender Application Guard really works. Microsoft Defender Application Guard use a uh, unique hardware isolation approach, which allows you to browse web in a hardware isolated environment. You can say, if in case any attack happens, that would uh, that's going to happen in a hardware isolated environment instead of your main computer. Application Guard help you to isolate enterprise defined trusted or untrusted sites. As an enterprise administrator, you can define what all are among the trusted websites, cloud resources, or internal networks. Everything which is not part of the list is considered untrusted. If in case any employee uh, goes to an untrusted site, either using Microsoft Edge or Internet Explorer, Microsoft Edge opens a site in an isolated Hyper-V enabled container. During this time, Microsoft Defender Application Guard creates an isolated memory instance of the browser, which prevents any malicious script or other malware attack from reaching in to your computer. And uh, that protects your network and the data. So let's discuss uh, how you can configure Microsoft Defender Application Guard uh, on a Windows device. You can configure Microsoft Defender Application Guard on a Windows 10 device either using Microsoft Endpoint Manager or using Active Regroup Policies. In this video, I'll be demonstrating how you can configure Microsoft Defender Application Guard on a Windows 10 device using Microsoft Endpoint Manager. Before uh, starting the demonstration, let's talk about the system requirement. What all are the hardware and the software requirement before enabling uh, Application Guard? If you talk about the hardware requirement, uh, then the hardware requirement is uh, a 64 bit CPU, and the CPU should have uh, VTX, Intel, or AMD technology supported, and a minimum of 8 GB of RAM and uh, a 5 GB of free space available. But if in case if you are testing the feature, then uh, and you don't have any uh, hardware available, then what you can do, you can uh, leverage a virtual machine as well. So uh, anyway, uh, virtual machines are not uh, supported as of now. Or, uh, but what you can do if, as you are testing the functionality in a known production environment, then what you can do, you can uh, enable uh, nested virtualization feature. You can leverage nested virtualization feature either on Hyper-V or any other virtualization technology. If you talk about the software requirement, then uh, Operating system supported are Windows 10 Enterprise Edition, Professional Edition, and uh, Education Editions. These all are supported. But uh, Professional Edition are only supported for the known managed devices. This is very important here. So Professional Editions are only supported in a known managed device. It means which are not managed either by Intune or any third-party mobile devices. Right? And the browser supported is Microsoft Edge. If in case if you uh, if you uh, have some resource crunch either on the VM or the physical uh, desktop or laptop, what you can do you can still uh, live you can do some tweaking in the registry and leverage the feature. So if you go to the FAQs here, then these are the registry key which are supported, right? So you have to create this uh, registry key and. Uh, define what is a minimum like if you only have two cpr two cores then you can define two as here if you have only four gig of memory on the system then you can define four uh, in against it and if you have left the uh, less the uh, disk space available then you can 
configure it accordingly. So let's go ahead and do the install configuration now. Let's go ahead and do the configuration now. Let's log into Microsoft Intune and go to Endpoint Security. Choose uh, attacks, attack surface reduction, and let's create a profile here. Choose the platform as Windows 10 and later, and choose the profile type as application browser isolation. Let's create it. We name it as uh, MDAG profile. Click on next. And now we have to do the configuration here. So uh, we have to choose how you want. We want to turn on the application guard. Whether we want to turn on the application guard only for the edge, or we want to turn it for the isolated Windows environment, or we want to turn it for the both. So I'm just choosing for the both because I will be working on another video where I will be uh, working uh, for the application. The second uh, configuration we have is the clipboard behavior, how you want to allow the clipboard. So whether you want to block the clipboard between the PC and the browser, or you want to allow the in one way or two way, so uh, you have to do the configuration accordingly. So I want to block the configuration, uh, uh, block the copy and paste behavior in between the PC and the browser, so I choose it to block it. Uh, and I don't want to allow the camera and microphone to be used in the isolated browser. If in case if you want to block the external content from the known enterprise approved sites or you don't want to collect the logs um, you can keep them as it is if you want to allow user to download the files let's uh, choose gs here and uh, these are the settings which are for the printer so whether you want to allow a local printers or network printers or pdf or xps document to be printed uh, i'm just allowing a user to print the pdf I am not allowing to use a local printer or a network printer here. And uh, then we have to configure the Windows network isolation po policy. So this is very important because uh, uh, this is the place where we will be defining uh, what all is allowed. So it means we'll be defining the IP range, the cloud resources, network domain, proxy service. And uh, as we want to test it for the Microsoft Edge, then what I'm going to do, I'm going to uh, configure the cloud resources here. So let me add the FQDN here. So I have allowed two websites. My one is Microsoft.com and the other one is uh, VirtualizationBlog.in as a trusted website here. And all the other websites other than these web two websites are untrusted. And it means that uh, if the user will try to open any other website, it will be opened on the separate isolated browser window. If in case if you have some tags uh, in the organization, you are using tags in the organization, then you can use it and uh, let me assign it. So uh, I'm just keeping it as it is because I have to create another group here. So let me just uh, keep it unassigned as of now. And we have a profile created. Let me have a group created first for one of the client. And Appian VM1 will be the member of this. Let's create it. Let's go to endpoint security again and uh, assign this group, assign that policy to this group. Go to properties and click on assignments, add the group. Check the device status so it may take some time let's uh, let's see what all settings we have on the client till that time this is app vm01 and uh, if i check the features here on this windows 10 machine then i don't have application guard installed as of now so let's wait for some time and let the policy get synced here. So this is in the pending state now. Let me uh, check what is the status on the device. If we go to app VM01 and check. So we see that there are some errors here. The primary status have errors. 
So, uh, what the policy did, it tried to install the feature on the Windows 10 device, but that once the feature is installed, it requires a reboot of the Windows 10 device. So, what I'm going to do now, I'm just going to restart the Windows 10 device now. Let's check, it, uh, check the state of the features. We can see that app, Microsoft Defender Application Guard feature is installed now. So uh, once this feature is installed, now the policies will be pushed and the configuration will be done on the Windows 10 device. So now we have uh, two websites which we have configured as a trusted websites. Let's try to open those websites first. And we can see that uh, Microsoft.com is opened up in the same window. And let's try to open uh, MSN.com now. And MSN.com is not a trusted website. It should be opened up in a separate browser window. Yes. So. You can see that once we opened up MSN.com, it is opened up in a separate browser, isolated browser window. And the other setting what we did is we blocked the copy paste behavior. So let me just copy some text out of this. We copy the text and try to paste it here. So it is blocked now. So we are not allowed because we have configured to we have blocked the copy paste behavior in between the application uh, in the PC and the browser window. So we are not allowed to do a copy paste. And now let's see whether we are able to print or not. So we have an option uh, to print as a PDF file. And we don't have any option to print out its uh, XPS or any other printer is available here. Mm -hmm. If we try to add a printer, it should be blocked. Right? Yes. So Microsoft Defender Application Guard blocked the installation and or the configuration of any network or local printer. I hope this will be informative for you. And uh, if in case, if you like the video, please do share and subscribe. And if in case, if you want me to make more videos on a specific topic, do mention in the comment section of this video. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.